Learn from God to enlighten your soul. This is your daily devotional reading. Our Father cares, January 27th, being united as children of God. For ye are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. Galatians 3 verse 26 We seldom find two persons exactly alike. Among human beings as well as among the things of the natural world, there is diversity. Unity in diversity among God's children, the manifestation of love and forbearance in spite of difference of disposition, this is the testimony that God sent His Son into the world to save sinners. The unity that exists between Christ and His disciple does not destroy the personality of either. In mind, in purpose, in character, they are one, but not in person. By partaking of the Spirit of God, conforming to the law of God, man becomes a partaker of the divine nature. Christ brings his disciples into a living union with himself and with the Father. Through the working of the Holy Spirit upon the human mind, man is made complete in Christ Jesus. A unity with Christ establishes a bond of unity with one another. This unity is the most convincing proof to the world of the majesty and virtue of Christ and of his power to take away sin. The powers of darkness stand a poor chance against believers who love one another as Christ has loved them, who refuse to create alienation and strife, who stand together who are kind, courteous, and tender-hearted, cherishing the faith that works by love and purifies the soul. We must have the Spirit of Christ, or we are none of His. In unity there is strength, in division there is weakness. The closer our union with Christ, the closer will be our union with one another. Variance and disaffection, selfishness and conceit are striving for supremacy. These are the fruits of a divided heart open to the suggestions of the enemy of souls. Satan exalts when he can sow seeds of dissension. In unity there is a life, a power that can be obtained in no other way. Our Father cares, January 27th.